Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You need to relax, Michael. No, Michael. Much better, Michael. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Um, if you're new to this channel, um, I do say their astrology together with Tarot. Okay, but I'm not doing the astrology right now because I don't have access to it here. Okay, so I won't be able to show it to you guys. Okay. So let's start here. I'm going to be using two of the tarot here. Let's begin. How's everybody? Okay. Please make sure you check out also in the description box. Everything is going to be there. All the link is going to be there. Everything is going to be there. Okay. If you want to get your chart, mm -hmm. it's there also. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Nine of swords. Oh, dear Lord. What are we worried about? What is eating us alive okay is it pasta if there's eating i want pasta okay <laughs> i'm nine of swords um nine of swords is a stressful card of course overthinking a situation which we all know that's where you know the downfall of your zodiac is once you worry because you over worry and you stress yourself out of uh, anything and everything. You're meaning this is a card of suspicion. Okay? Like something is not right. And then, but these are all illusion. Okay? So it's eating you. Uh, this is this. This is that. You know? So you're saying here that um, you're having issues right now um, in your situation because there's so many things that is uncertain. With the nine of swords. So one sword, one sword, one sword, one sword, one sword. Yeah. So that creates uh, a lot of uh, worry. The uncertainty here, you know, with regards to your dating, of course. Um, if they're hiding something, are they telling you the truth? Are they going to break up with you? Um, what's going on? They haven't replied, you know. Um, we argued, five of swords. They haven't been talking, six of swords. Seven of swords. What is the truth? Eight of swords. You're going into... Uh, you're going back again and then back again because that's the whole eight of swords. I can't get out of my head. And then the final sword right here, nine of swords, is your anxiety. Mm -hmm. You're anxious. Anxious. You're anxious, um, but you're good at not showing it. Nine of pentacles. Mm -hmm. So you wear this mask in, uh, in front like I'm good. Someone asks you, I'm fine, but deep inside, you know, so you're having, you are dual here. Mm -hmm. So silent water runs deep. Mm -hmm. For us, we call it silent water, nawasa. <laughs> if you know what nawasa is, okay. Silent water runs deep. So with the nine of pentacles and the nine of swords, this is uh, showing that um, you have... You have tried to keep up a good front and you're, I mean, if you're good at it, you're good at it because definitely you have this uh, stoic, is that stoic? It's called nonchalant, I'm not phased, I'm fine, I'm good, you know, but in, deep inside, a lot of worries, okay? Oh, the load, the load. A lot of worries, um, which involves, of course, lies and deceit. Do you have sorts of fear? You're scared if this person is lying? You're scared if this person is telling you the truth. What is, you know, where is this going? How it's going and how, you know, like this is that. Look at that. There's tears right there. Um, you're worried about someone betraying you again. Backstab right there. You opening up to someone always leads you to this kind of situation. Mm. That's why you keep a good front over here. You're not telling anyone, but you're worried about the person, not about them. Uh, per se, but about them betraying you. Because here, you got lost in your mind where I don't understand what is the truth anymore. Because mm. it could be like a repetitive kind of, uh, um, how to say that? Lies. Oh, and a five of swords. Okay. So there was a breakup. There is a separation here with the five of swords. 
And it does look like this is what you're worried about because huge argument, they broke up with you. You don't want to show them that you are faced by this. But of course, the five of swords over here um, is what's intentional. Mm -hmm. So you can't trust this person with the five of swords. A lot of swords, a lot of thinking here going on. A lot of thinking. So you got yourself in a quiet in a pickle, Scorpio, quiet in a pickle. Another sword, not knowing what to do, two of swords. Um, because this is a crossroads now that you're facing. Where do I go? What do I do? Um, this person, we had a fight. And now I know I have to keep up a brave front. But you also know that they know how much you are in pain. You're aware of that. Now the two of swords over here, of course, they're blinded. You're blinded of the unknown, meaning it's like, I don't know what's going to happen, what's next day, what's tomorrow, which, of course, this leads you to your Nine of Swords. Not knowing the future the, or, you know, everything is uncertain, puts you in a very, very tough spot of just worried, worried, worried. Mm -hmm. Knight of Wands. This could be a threat to you. Um, knowing because the night is, um, you know, they say like it's a one night stand or they, you dated someone, you thought that you guys are going to be together long term. But, you know, I, I've, I've, this is a orangutan, a baboon. I'm not sure okay, for people who knows what, uh, um, what animal is this. But here it's showing that someone went animal on you, which only means someone went nasty on you out of character. You try to keep your calm with the nine of pentacles though. Mm hmm you try. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this This is this person. Okay, so they're, they're very, very angry, frustrated, immature-ish kind of energy right now towards you. Um, I see here that, you know, it was a big blowout. It was like, it just went 0 to 100, um, separated, and then you were in pain. You didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. And chances are, this is what you're worried. If like they're sleeping with someone else. The tower, and it's like 0 to 100, I told you. So this situation is ripping you apart. Mm -hmm. Tower is a separation. It's a doom gloom, of course. Uh, I don't know why, why you guys are having this. But, you know, with Venus in Scorpio, and it's going, it's Gandanta, uh, meaning from water to fire, Scorpio to Sagittarius. You may feel this. Venus rules your seventh house. You may feel being torn. You may feel like, you know, like where is justice over here? Because remember, you know, Venus rules Libra also. That's her 12th house, which is, you know, for you, it's just like, why did I get treated like this? Why I didn't see this? You know, you know, the falling apart with the tower right there. Mm -hmm. And four of pentacles. Uh, and this is what, of course, irks you the most is that they can afford to shut down and because for you, I, I I see here that you want to address this, you know, head on, but they refuse to reply. They refuse to talk about it, Four of Pentacles. They're keeping themselves away from you out of spite with the Five of Swords. So this person is good at managing, okay, fine, we separate. And then they shut down. They just shut down and after the whole thing, and which for you is just like, I need to know. I need to know. Link down there in the description box below for the extended. Thank you very much, Scorpio, for watching. Make sure to check out eatreadlove.me for all your metaphysical needs. The One Stop Metaphysical Shop is opening on this coming next week. We were just closed for a, uh, for a renovation because we were expanding. But if you are in Los Angeles, make sure you visit us. All right. I'll see you guys again. Bye.